Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. My name is Basilisk, I'm still your host, give me one moment. Alright, there we go, I had to move, I forgot to move my freaking the freaking episode 2 video into, into my, into where I need to be. Anyways, um, in the last episode we, uh, made our way off the Endar Spire. In this episode we're gonna make our way into Terrace. Well, there's honestly no reason to ever take, to never not take Karth. He starts off level 4, very nice. And I don't remember if you have to level him up or not. Right, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. <laughs> what an asshole. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Gotta love the Sith. Humans hiding out with aliens. They're Republic fugitives. Attack! Oh, aren't you jumpy? All right, let's party. Karth starts off two two handing bla uh, dual wielding blasters as well. Fortunately, these guys are kind of chumpy. Oh. It's a good thing. It's a good thing there's subtitles. Because I have no idea what this dude's actually saying. He'd be saying my mother was a sarlacc and. You could be calling my mother a Sarlacc for all I know. Yeah, not my best commentary right there. Huh? Blah, blah, blah. Anyways. <laughs> Just don't get yourself caught, I suppose. Um... Um, I could, since I'm playing Dark Side, you probably expect me to take all the jerkish options, but I'm going for something a little more nuanced than that. Oh, goody. Since I still don't have two-handed bla- uh, dual weapon wielding, let's equip that blaster rifle. Takes up both my weapon slots, but it also means he's got two blaster- uh, okay. He's got he's got his own blaster, but I'm also gonna give him that ion blaster. Now, as you can see, he is quite the paragon. Karth has some nice stats. Um, for his skills, his computer use is even worse than mine. His demolitions are non-existent. His stealth is non-existent. His awareness is all right. His persuade. Not, uh, terrible. His repair is alright. His security is, eh. His, his treat injury, however, is actually really good. For his feats, two, he's got improved two weapon fighting. Very nice. Heavy armor proficiency, power attack, power blast. Specialized in blaster pistols. You can also use blaster rifles, heavy weapons, and melee weapons. So, he's got some handy stuff. It's best to just give him pistols and let him go to town, though. Um, oh, I can level. I could hit level 3 if I wanted to, but like I said, I'm going to be hanging on to my levels. But yes, I'm not just going to be spamming the jerk-ass options and conversations. Anyways. Let's open this door. I've got good enough security to make that easy. Uh, who are you? Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. This is an RPG. Of course I can. Huh, how much of a dick do I want to be? 
That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his <laughs> trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. I've got a Besides, skill. I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. Uh, give me one moment. Sorry about the delay. Um, I could actually start this bounty now, but this quest now, but I'm not going to. I'll we'll be coming back to this. Don't worry, we'll be dealing with Good. her later. I don't much like strangers in my home. I'll be back later. Fuck off with you. Oh, what? Hold on. Well, we'll cover you. We'll we'll come back to you. Let's head this way. Ah. Okay. Whoa. Whoops. I guess I accidentally skipped my dialogue choice. Okay, you can't understand what he's saying anyway, so I'm going to keep talking. Um, I have a question for my audience. Energy shields... Um, energy shields uh, re can reduce the damage you take. They're equipped like bracers, though, for some reason. Anyways, I have a question for my audience. It's possible to skip alien dialogue by pushing... by left-clicking, like so. And... Let me know if you want me to do this. Because I can see why listening to these dudes would get really freaking annoying. Alright, um... Let's just look at his shop. This dude is expensive. And we don't have very many credits. Alright, now, let's sell some stuff, though. I've got two sets of clothing. Wait a minute. Um, hold on. Alright, we're going to sell the vibroblades and the short swords. I wish it would show me what I have equipped. It does. I'm just dumb. Okay. Oh. That's right, I got what's-his-face's gear, too. I hope that's right. I hope that's right. And that should do it. That puts us up at uh, 292. But yeah, he's got a military suit, which is heavy armor, or medium armor. Um, it's not useful for either Valthon or Karth, so I'm not going to buy it. Heavy combat suit is good for Karth. Or no, it's good for me. But I think I have one already. No, I have a regular combat suit, but that's 110. Uh, I might purchase it too. Light battle armor, that's another medium, not useful for either me or Karth. Stun baton, needs to load. It's a melee weapon, did a long sword, it's not very useful. Quarter staff, um, this is kind of like the non-lightsaber version of a saber staff, and eh. Vibra sword, 132, it's actually a pretty good weapon. Ion blasters, sonic pistols, these are all blaster pistols. Uh, Sonic Pistol isn't bad, but it's not really worth it. Light Repeating Weapon. Light Repeating Blaster. This is the first heavy weapon you can get in the game. There's exactly one character in the entire game who I'm going to have use these things. I don't have this character yet, so that can stay there. The music... I forgot how, bad, how poorly the music loops. Gr grenades are also always handy. Um, I might buy the Concussion Grenades. Energy Shield. His are expensive. I'm not going to be buying anything from him yet. He just has stuff. Let me make sure I didn't actually sell anything I have equipped. Okay, good. You can't sell anything you have equipped. Oop. 
Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's hack our way through this. Let's pick this lock. We have a Twi'lek. Sup? Okay, cool. I'll loot your bag over here. Uh, just some parts and credits. Computer spike, nothing useful here. That takes us out of here. But we're not done here yet. Open sesame. On it. Done. You can also, if you don't have, um, nothing important in here, except this bag. One moment. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> if you don't have, um, any security skill, you can hack, uh, just blast your, blast or hack your way through the door. This is just a little storage room, nothing impo of importance in here. Out of my way, Twi like. On it. Done. And there's a foot locker in here, and I think there's some over I thought I saw some over here, but let's open that foot locker. Nothing useful there. I think it's in one of these rooms though, but no oh, no. Nope. I thought I remembered there being an instance where you get, um, where someone interrupts you as you're going through, but I guess not. That's our apartment. And right here is the girl with the bounty on her head. And there's the exit to Terrace, so let's go there. I'm away! Oh, one thing I should note about this game, and, and it's another reason I'm not using any levels on Terrace, aside from the one I had to use back on the Endar Spire, the level cap for this game is level 20. Yeah, it's freaking pathetic. Now, we got a new quest. The Rapid Transit System. Um, basically, fast travel, um, but it only lets you go to... Um, Uh, back to your hideout or later in the game it uh, lets you go elsewhere I'm not going to use that just yet because I want to explore the upper city a bit uh, just over here are some salvage droids nothing nothing of interest over here I think the canteen is over here though um, okay hey Karth yes what's in your mind me well I've been a star pilot for Public for years. Seen more than a show years. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. Ouch. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. <laughs> I know that. I'm not angry at you. Don't think that. I, I must not be making much sense. I need to look up who this voice actor well is. With your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. It's actually really fun to pick on Karth. <laughs> um, ooh, I think this is the one I want. Yeah, this is the... Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Um, yeah, I forgot how much... Just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. 
Okay, let's try this again. Now, I've forgotten how much fun it can actually be to tease Karth in this game. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Bond and Alloy Heavy Suit. 900 fucking credits, but it's actually pretty good gear. Military suit, not good for anybody I've got. Heavy combat suit. It's only 100 over here. Cool. Yeah, this one's cheaper. Chani brand. Rituals. Ritual brand. This is another uh, staff. Vibro sword. That will be... I'm going to not. That will be useful later. That's a blaster rifle like the one I've already got. The Sith Sniper Rifle is actually pretty good, but I don't know if I'm ever going to have the creds to use it on, to get it on this world. Um, we'll need that later. Um, mines are not useful. Stealth Field Generator Sound Dampening Unit. I don't need anything here, but I am going to buy the light, the heavy combat suit because it's a bit better than what I've got. <laughs> it's a bit lower on the dexterity bonus, um, but it helps a bit, but it gives me a little bit better armor. It will do until I can get. Welcome to the equip. I already heard you. Because of the Sith Fuck off. Buy my combat suit. Um, the Bond and Heavy Alloy suit is eventually what I'm gonna wind up buying for Valtharm before the end of the, if I can afford it before the end of Terrace, because it is the best defense you can get for light armor. At this point, eventually, I'm not going to be using light armor for for Valtharn, but for now, this is better than nothing. Let's head back out here. Um, I am sorry if these first couple episodes aren't the most exciting in terms of content because I'm having to go over stats and all that shit. Um, I have no idea if this blaster rifle is upgradable. Anyways, over here is a medical facility. Zelka Forn. Lab personnel only. I could probably hack my way into that. Anyways, let's talk to Gunny. Don't Jenny. you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Okay. Rude. Hey, Zelka, what's up? I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat goop disease, of course. I, I, I feel like you need to elaborate on that, good sir. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rakgulls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected would eventually mutate into Rakgulls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Hmm. That sounds like fun. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Mm, sorry. Well, I couldn't afford to give you more than a few med packs and a handful of credits. The medical center can barely afford to stay open as it is. But it hardly matters anyway. See how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a Rakgul infection. But I doubt.
Scout or Patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith Patrols, even in the Undercity. <laughs> Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, no, that's it. I'll be going now. Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Oh, I'm actually still full health, surprisingly. Now we're gonna get ambushed on our way out by Gurney. You there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat ghoul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Uh, okay. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the rat ghoul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Look, <laughs> Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Okay. Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghoul Serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Right, okay. Now that I'm done pissing off Karth because I'm a Dark Sider. Ah. Get the fuck out of here. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I, I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. David can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a Guess not! <laughs> Yeah, let's deal with these guys. Let's finally get tried out of a new blaster rifle. Don't like being close range though. Thank you. Chumps. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Yeah, I'm not going to give him money, but that would just be cartoonishly evil if I robbed him right now. It is kind of tempting, though. Still, it's only 50 creds and not worth it. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. 50 creds is not worth it. Because I can get them right there. <laughs> eh. Um, oh, let's not go that way. I need to get a timer so I can tell how long these episodes have been going.
Alright, let's see if there's anything on the other side of the Equipment Emporium before I head on. Because I thought the Equipment Emporium was on the way to the Upper City North, but I appear to have been mistaken. Uh, this is where I want to go. Alright, there's a couple of things we want to do in here. First thing, first one of them is... Save. Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Okay. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> you don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, Go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Oh, Transylvanian. Where's Garok? There he is. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Doesn't Just matter. Just 50 fact. credits, and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. I can in point of fact, I enjoy Pazak. The grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? No, of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Here's the thing. I enjoy Pazak. I mean, I really do. I'm sorry, what? Better not give me light side points. Uh, let's talk to this guy. I saw you getting a Pazak lesson from that old fossil Garou. Oh, you didn't? Learning the rules of Pazak is easy. But actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Mm. Normally I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play a hand? Yeah, sure. Let's I'm play. I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Let's wager 40 credits. This is actually a decent way to get... Um, to get cards. Our starter deck here is a little shitty, but still. Now, like I said, I enjoy Pizak, so I'm gonna try not to play too much of this game. Unless y'all really want me to, unless y'all enjoy it too. But anyways, it's kind of like 21 Blackjack. The goal of the game is to get to 20 instead of 21. And unless he can hit 20, I've just won this hand. Look at that. I'm actually also pretty decent at this game. Um, although sometimes it can go way against you. So far, it's going in my favor. I'm sitting at 20. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. Um, this game actually has a terrible... Pazak in the first game has a terrible case of um, cheating computer. <laughs> He just won the first hand. But, yeah, this is basically Pazak, and it's part of the reason I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna try not to have too much of this going on. Is because it's not the most, um, interesting game, if you're not into it. I could win right now if I wanted to, but I'm gonna... Yes! Hang on to my card. Um. If you lose, it's just a loss of money, though. Dude, I'd have stood. Sweet. Alright, I'm winning. And I've still got two cards. Hit me! 
I'll take another win, though. Woohoo! You were lucky to win the last match, but luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, you know where to find me. Well, you're the best I can find right now. I saw your match against Nikos. He doesn't lose very often. I bet you could make a lot of credits as a professional Pazak player. Actually, you can. Not so much on Taris, but later on in the game, you can start betting up to 200, I think it is. Yeah, save my game really quick. Um... All right, I've got one more thing I'm going to do here. Not there. One of these freaking side rooms. Oh. Yes. As you can see, there's a hut. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gerlach fighting. It's not like we're going to miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. This I trot over to check out what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. <laughs> In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! Duncan drops his freaking gun and gets shot. Ugh. will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Gerlon Two Fingers. <sighs> and here we have a tournament fighting league. Let's go talk to the hut. Um, let's aim. There we go. A Jew or the hut. Who's pretty short for a hut. Okay, but yeah, um, we will be participating in the dueling ring. I'm hoping to be able to clear the whole thing. Alright. Sorry, I just spaced out for a moment. I was trying to remember something. E fame for Arcadia. I will be using a blaster. Fibro blades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Ah, well, this guy's actually got a pretty high persuade resistance score. If I'd taken the level up, I probably could do it, but. Eh. Yeah, it was a nice shot, but you can get him up to, I think, 15 or 20, but um, only if you take the level up, and I didn't, but okay. Okay. 
Dead Eye Duncan is a weird dude. Apparently, he probably. I'm guessing he used to be really accurate to get a nickname like that. Walked right out of a western, I have. But I'm trying not to announce my name, so. Hey. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I keep I just have it. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back in the first part. I keep going silent when the aliens are talking, even though the play even though nobody can understand anything they're saying. That have it. Let's take out Dead Eye Duncan. Let's do it. Yeah, after gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan, and in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history. No past and no name. The mysterious stranger. Having fun with that. Having fun there. Duncan's pretty easy to take out. Let's snipe him out while he's all the way over there. Get wrecked. <laughs> like I said, Duncan's pretty easy. You got 55 experience points for trashing Duncan. Ah, there he is. Let's talk to him real quick now that big beat in his ass. What do you want? Oh, let me guess. You beat me in the dueling ring and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the better of me. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. Blindfolded, one-legged attack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I shouldn't be so happy about that, but anyways, let's talk to this dude and get my money. Between dueling and Pazak, and if you really want to be a dick, you can actually rob quite a few people. It's actually possible to get yourself a lot of money on Terrace. Um, oh, there it is. 357 already. All right. I'm going to save my game. And I'm actually going to end the episode off here for two reasons. One is because I'm pretty sure we've been going for quite a while, and this is as good a place as any. Um, the other is because I'm freaking starving because I haven't eaten, eaten in 
at all yet today. It's 2.51 p.m. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I am sorry that these first couple episodes are slow. Don't worry, that will pick up pretty shortly um, once we get down to the Undercity and I'm able to start really playing as a Darksider. <laughs> all right, in the meantime, pardon me. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Good night, folks.